Hi everyone, in this section we are going to have a look at function literals and streams. We are going to specifically use anonymous functions, have a look at what is reactive programming, as well as using observer pattern, and also using streams in Go, for example map, reduce and filter, which you may have used in other programming languages like JavaScript or Java. In this particular video we are going to have an overview at what we are going to cover in this section. So, what is a function literal? In itself, a function literal is just an unnamed function, which we are later going to call anonymous functions, which we may bound into a variable and use it uh, whenever possible inside another function. We can also declare and uh, self-invoke anonymous functions at the same time. Now, why should you use function literals? They have a couple of advantages. For example, they can be used inside other functions, so we can declare and uh, use them at the same time inside other functions, also by taking uh, advantage of using the parameters of the function that we have nested this function literal in. Also, function literals are really good to use for one-time usage. So, if the use case in your particular use case you have to use uh, this particular function and functionality in different packages or different files, you'd better use named function. But in cases when you just have to use it one time, you can use an anonymous function, so function literal in this case. Now regarding streams, streams have different meanings and uh, there are different synonyms or uh, different use cases uh, that we can consider as streams, but in this case we consider streams sequence of elements, uh, for example arrays or slices, that we do computations in and generate new data based on a specific condition or rule. So, for example, in the example below we have a filter which is going to take as a parameter weights, in this case is a slice, and return only the a new slice with weights more than 80. So, in this case the condition is that the weight of this particular sequence of elements, slice in this case, has to be more than 80. We can also use map or reduce, but in this case we have just uh, considered the uh, showing filter. We are going to cover streams in detail in the last video of this section. Now, in Go streams are not supported by default. Streams are really powerful and easy to use, and really convenient in order to do computations over slices or array. Also streams one of the most uh, impopular streams are map, reduce and filter. Now regarding uh, the fact that they are not uh, supported in Go, there is a lot of debate regarding that, but the most important reason is that uh, Go doesn't support generics, and streams we have to use the uh, generics in order to apply streams in a different data type so we don't have to copy and paste code for different data types. There are a lot of uh, alternatives of emulating generics in Go, for example the sort package in the standard library uses interfaces. In our case we are going to have a look at how to apply streams in different methods, for example using interfaces or using copy-paste. You are not going to really uh, use the dry principle in this case, but it's really a good way to apply streams in Go.